Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> okay, so Isaiah 53 we were reading before, and I noticed something in the Hebrew text, in the King James Version, and then, which is here, King James, this is, and this one is the NLT, the New Living Testament. So I'm going to read the New Living Testament one first. Um, it says in Isaiah 53, 8. Is it 8? Yes. Um, and justly condemned, he was led away. Um, no one cared that he died without descendants. Um, that his life was cut short in midstream, but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. Now notice that it says no one cared that he died without descendants. Okay. Now let's go over to Isaiah 53, 8. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who, who shall declare his generation? Question mark. For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Now I have the online version of the Hebrew text and the Aramaic, and it says that he was, you know, basically the same thing as he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people he was was he stricken. Now, a lot of occults believe that Jesus had descendants. Well, later in the text, it talks about his descendants, that he will have many descendants. Here, like in the NLT, um, it talks about, you know, he didn't have descendants. In 53.8, excuse me, over here, that he didn't have descendants. Um, that, um, where is it, descendants? So that he died without descendants. And then later it says, um, here, in 53.10, down here, it says, But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. So who are the descendants? Well, um, the... in. I'll go into that in just a second. But again, over here in um, Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it ple in, the, in the King James, it says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou, thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So the seed of Jesus is what they're talking about here. The seed of Jesus is... Um, the new creation, the new life. But notice that he used, he said, shall make his soul, his soul, an offering for sin. So Jesus' soul was an offering for sin is what, what God's showing me. Anybody that has any suggestion on any further information on this, that's great. I've seen scriptures all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament that talks about the seed um, and then notice that this one talked about the, the living, oh wait, right now, that eight talked about the land of the living, cut out of the land of the living. So he died. Um, we are the land of the living, but the soul needed to be saved here according to this. So the new seed, his seed is, um, he is a new body and a new soul or the soul redeemed out of the earth <clears throat> so we'll get an incorruptible body like Jesus had an incorruptible body um, and an uh, immortal body so um, this is the land of the living is real important also because the scriptures say that we're not to talk to the dead we're not to talk to dead spirits spirits that are dead we speak to the Holy Spirit which is alive um, to father God he's a, he's the eternal life in Jesus' name, because Jesus is eternal life also. He's redeemed out of the out of the living and the dead. So he conquered death. So um, I just wanted to point this out. And the Hebrew is very close to the King James Version. Um, I haven't gotten into the Greek to, to find out what the Greek says, but Isaiah would be in the Hebrew or the Aramaic. So um, we wouldn't have the Greek in Isaiah, I don't believe. If I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> I'm learning with everyone. This is kind of like Bible study. We all help each other and we pray to the Father to give us insight in Jesus that's within us, the new creation in us, the light that shines within us. And um, 
that's one thing I'll show over here. So the the light. Um, let's see, where is it? The light. John was witness of the light, which is Jesus lighteth on every man that come upon the world. Uh, no condemnation for those who are in Jesus. Um, repentance exposes, you know, to the light. So. Um, to give light to them that sit in darkness. So we're the light, light, the city on the hill, the light. Uh, let's see. Anyways, I was taught, I was just wanting you to know that, you know, he is, his face shined, his face shine upon us. Numbers believe in his name. Um, so he is the light of the world. Um, the new creation in him. Okay. I'm going to end this. My dog is walking all over the place. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.